Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you how to use the menu command and to make some of your own custom menus. And so let's get started. The menu command is very useful if you're going to make a text-based uh, text based game, and the syntax for it is you put menu, parenthesis, um, quotes, and then your title line, and then comma, option one, in quotes, comma, label one which you put a letter or number which for your label not you don't actually write out label uh, comma quote option two comma label two and then etc and then some extra uses of the menu command you can uh, like use a filing system almost is how I phrase it as you can uh, use menu commands inside of menu commands almost because if I were to choose option one here it would go to this label right here and it would run this menu command so you can have menu commands inside of menu commands another function is you can have two options going to the same label so if I were to choose option two or option three in this circumstance they would both go to this menu right here and then the last extra function is you can repeat the same menu command as if I were to choose option four in this circumstance it would just repeat the same menu command here and here's some things to know when you're uh, using the menu command uh, it does not clear the home screen and also after you choose an option it will the home screen will return to what it was before you uh, initiated the command so if I had the number one displayed in the middle of the screen then I ran this menu command up here after I chose an option the number one would still be on the screen after it's not displayed during the menu command but after you choose an option it will be displayed again so make sure you put a clear home after you have your options if you want to clear the home and you don't need to put a clear home before the menu or anything because it de deletes everything then redisplays it then another thing is the menu command can only have one line for the title which is 16 characters on a uh, monochrome calculator and seven options nine on a color calculator seven for monochrome and they all have to be one line each all the options and if you don't want to use the menu command, which is all the stuff I've just been explaining, you can make a custom menu. And a custom menu looks the same way, but you can customize it a little bit more. And most custom menus just have a number and then a get key command, which I'll explain really fast. So right now, this display title, uh, one option, two option, three option, is the same thing as uh, up here when I did this except that there's no label and you can't like scroll through the options um, after this it displays this repeat a get key a checks what button is pressed on the calculator and if a equals 92 92 for the get key command is the number one on the calculator and so if you, they press number one it could go to option one which is what it does if a equals 92 go to option one's label and you can just continue this for each option. You could do like if A equals 93, which is but, uh, the number 2 button, go to option 2's label. And then down here we have a more advanced menu, which is a menu with a cursor on it, where you can keep track of which, which option you're on and you can scroll through the options. Now I made this myself and it doesn't have any memory leakage, so feel free to copy it with your own options if you want. And all this does is it sets 0 to B, and what B is in this circumstance is our keeping track of which option we're on. If B equals 0, we're on option 1. If B equals 1, we're on option 2. You can always change that to if B equals 1, option 1, so they line up the numbers. I should always have 0 because I don't have the number 1 in my actual options. And then these outputs right here that clear all that does is deletes the arrow for both of them so it can be redisplayed because otherwise you would have two arrows all the time and you wouldn't be able to tell which one you're on if b equals zero it redisplays the arrow if b equals one it redisplays the arrow for option two and then these shouldn't be here not sure why those are there and repeat a get key a like we sa uh, said above it just checks which button is pressed a equals twenty five that is the up arrow it not sure why there's a one there it sets zero to B and it 
that makes it go to option 1, because if you're pressing up, you're obviously going to option 1. And if A equals 34, 1 to B, because you're going down to option 2. And then if A equals 105, that is the enter button, and B equals 0, so you're on option 1, it'll go to option 1's label. And same thing for option 2, if you're on B equals 1, it'll go to option 2's label. And then go to A just restarts the thing, so if you pressed an arrow key to scroll through the options, it'll reset and it won't end the menu. So this custom uh, menu is very useful. I definitely use it a lot in my programs. Obviously, I have more options a lot of times, but it still works. All you have to do is change it to B, B minus 1 to B and B plus 1 to B and then add your options up here and it will work the same. That's it for this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.